welcome to my channel my name is wolo w-o-l-o -O is the spelling some people have been spelling my name wrongly so it is w-o-l-o -O, that's the spelling of my name i love to share information about life in canada um immigrating to canada and everything useful that will be beneficial to anybody who sees my videos this is my usual intro it's a beautiful monday and the weather is beautiful i am not outside though but uh, the weather is beautiful and um, today I'll be sharing information on education in Canada for international students. Everybody knows that um, international students pay twice or pay three times the tuition fees compared to um, um, Canadian citizens and permanent residents in Canada. So if an international student is paying school fees of um, $10,000 or $15,000 per annum, a local student, a permanent resident or a citizen is paying about $4,000. So that's the difference. So I'll be showing you shortly on a website that has the full information on education in Canada for international students, where you can um, search for schools, search for the course you want to study, and it will show you everything you need to know in terms of, let's say you are... Um, a computer science graduate and you want to further your education and do a master's or a phd in computer science in canada the website if you just put that information computer science it will pull up all the universities that offer um, postgraduate studies in computer science and um, it's also useful for people who want to send their children who are below a certain age let's say you want to send your child to come and do complete his or her high school in canada you will find information about that on that website as well and you also find information on scholarships for international students on that website as well but i'm going to do a separate video on scholarships because there are other websites um and also some details that i'll i'm going to be sharing about scholarships for international students and it's going to be beneficial to anybody who's also living in canada about scholarships a lot of people don't know that there are so many scholarships that go um on go unused in canada so i'll be sharing details about that and i also want to mention here that there has been a high rate of denial from um a high rate of denial of study permit for students coming from africa and there are lots of reasons concerning that i'll be doing a separate video on that to discuss the issue so that before you make up your mind to say you want to come to canada as an international student you should know these factors so you don't get into a situation where you have gotten your admission and then you get denied and get denied and get denied study permit. So I'm going to do a separate video on that. But today's video will be on the cost of living and uh, as an international student, depending on the province you choose, depending on your cost of study, depends on the college, on the university and um, a lot of other factors so that you have an idea of what you should be budgeting for in terms of tuition and in terms of um, living expense as an international student so that you don't come and start complaining that everything is expensive and uh, you're finding it difficult to like you know um pay your bills and all that i'll be showing you that website shortly and i hope you make good use of the website so this is the website www.educanada.ca this is where you find every information about um program cost, cost of living. It's an estimate anyway, but it gives you an idea of what you're going to spend as an international student. So you can see find program costs, scholarships, which I mentioned that I will talk about later. And um, so you click on find program costs, programs and costs, and it takes you to the next page. On the next page, you click on study costs again. There are other things that you can find here that will be useful for you as an international student, but our focus is on the cost of study and the cost of living. So once you click on study costs, it takes you to the next page, which shows you an estimated, uh, it shows you how much you're likely going to spend as an international student for elementary school, for high school, for language school, and for college and vocational studies and universities and then graduate studies so because our focus is on graduate studies there are also programs for 
professional certification, student exchange, um, online and distance education. So all the information you need and um, living expenses and scholarships, you can find them on this website. So our focus is on graduate studies. Once you click on graduate studies, it takes you to the next page. If you have the time, you go through it, you can read them. And um, you click on search colleges and universities. And if you want to search what you want to study, um, you can type what you want to study here. If, if let's say you want to study computer science, you want to study um, human resources, you want to study business administration, anything you want to study, you can actually keep putting the keywords or you can search by category. If you want biological and medical sciences, business management, communication, journalism, construction trades, education, engineering. So I'm gonna use computer and information sciences and support services as an example um, for graduate studies. In what language would you like to study? You can change it to English or bilingual, depends on what you want. And then for the level of education, um, because I'm searching for a master's program, I'm going to choose master's. And the next option is for the province. So depends on your province. If you like Alberta, you choose Alberta, and then it will show you all the universities and colleges that um, have masters in computer science. If you want British Columbia, if you want Manitoba, if you want New Brunswick. So in this example, I'm going to be choosing Manitoba because this is where I live. Um, click on display a list of programs. So in Manitoba, only one university has a master's in applied computer science and society. And that's the University of Winnipeg. That's very interesting. So once you um, are sure of what you want, if this is the course you want to study, then you can go ahead and choose it. But if this is not what this is not a course you want to study, you can go and click new search and then key in uh, or choose another province to see if you can get more options. But in Manitoba, this is the only university that shows a master of science in applied computer science. So let's say um, I want to choose Alberta. I'm going to click on new search again and um, go back and choose computer and information science, choose university and choose Alberta and click on display list of programs. In Alberta, you have so many options. There are like 10 options and you have lots of universities, Athabasca University, University of Alberta, University of Calgary, University of, um, okay, Concordia University. And yeah, you have about 10, 10 options depending on what you want to study. So this is Computing Science, MSc, that's in University of Alberta, Edmonton. I will choose this one and then scroll down and click on confirm selection once you click on confirm selection it takes you to the next page where you have to choose if you are coming alone or you want to come with your family if you'll be living with parents or relatives um, you choose the option that is suitable for you so in this case i'll be choosing single and living alone and then you're not coming with any dependent if you're coming with a dependent you have to put the number of dependents you will be coming with on this box here. But because I chose single and living alone, there is no need to put in any dependent. And the year you plan to start your studies, 2019 is already gone, so I'll be choosing 2020. And then click on Confirm Selection. When you click on Confirm Selection, you, choose, click, uh, you check the box again and then Confirm and Calculate Costs. So this is the page that shows you what the tuition fee is, um, what your compulsory fee is, what the books and supply will cost, and then your cost of living. So the education cost for one year for an international student is $12,405. And then the cost of living for one year 
is thirteen thousand dollars nine hundred and forty two uh thirteen thousand nine hundred and forty two dollars so the total amount that you should have in your account sh should be about twenty six thousand three hundred and forty seven dollars so this is a good website that shows you an estimate of what is going to cost you as an international student and um it gives you a breakdown of what your cost of living will be in terms of your accommodation your groceries, miscellaneous expense, and local public transport. So this is a good website where you have um, this information. And then you can also click here to um, look at the study permit requirements. So it's a one-stop website that gives you all the information that you need instead of um, going to each school to search for information. So you just um, you do your research on one website and you can find information on scholarships find information on everything concerning education in canada so this is the information i want to share and um, i hope it is useful you can share this website to everybody that plans to come to canada as a student um, as an international student so that they have an idea of what the expenses will be like and what to plan for so that's what I want to share for you today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. But before you go, click the subscribe button and like and share. Share this video to anybody that you know it's going to be useful to this person um, so that the person doesn't waste his or her time. The person can get all the information he needs. Just share the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.